you know, at seven bucks, or six, even at six bucks, if I had 300 bushels, that's $1,800 per acre. And I wonder what rent will be to that. <laughs> this is the rare case where you can save the world and, and be a hero and, and make a lot of money at the, at the same time. Dr. Fred Bilo, who carries extensive experience as a plant physiologist, says there are seven wonders of the corn producing world. So it's sort of my top seven list. He ranks them from greatest impact to least by the number of bushels that can be made or lost from each one. This is what the public likes to hear, by the way. I, I'm going to produce more or less. All right, and I think the idea is we're going to double yield with 30% less inputs. That, that's the goal. And uh, I'm going to sell you some magic beanstalk seed here if, if you actually believe that that's going to happen. Um, you, we can produce more with less input per bushel, no doubt about it. What I'm going to call intelligent intensification. Weather is at the top of the list, followed by nitrogen, hybrid selection, rotation from the previous crop, plant population, tillage, and magic bullet growth regulators. You know, 300 bushels, it's done every year. Um, anybody here seen 300 bushels? Close? It's done in the U.S. National Corn Growers Contest every year, and it, sometimes it's legit. Um, <laughs> get, getting better. He has calculated the maximum yield that can be produced with existing technology, but assures growers that given the opportunity, he can produce less. I will guarantee you, I'll bet you a year's salary if I set my mind to it, I can grow less than that by screwing up one of these wonders every single time. For the Agribusiness Report, I'm Ken Root.